Hello everyone, this is an optional ed puzzle for people who feel like they needed extra help with cell size and so I'm just gonna go through this video pretty quickly and do some practice problems with y'all. And so, like I said before, you do not need to memorize these formulas. The only formula that I would recommend you memorize is figuring out a uh, radius from diameter. And so oftentimes you might get a circle and they tell you the diameter is 14. But for when you look at the formulas for um, sphere and cylinder, you may notice that it's actually asking for radius. And so how do we calculate radius from um, a diameter? Really easy. Radius is always going to equal the diameter divided by 2. And so in this case, in this case, radius will equal 14 divided by 2, which will equal 7. Pretty easy. But for the rest of these formulas, you do not need to memorize them. This will be given to you on the exam. So cell size. The cellular me metabolism depends on cell size. How many reactions that happen in the cell. This could include how much cellular waste must leave, energy that is released, or nutrients that are brought in. And eventually the cell will get to a point where it gets really difficult to maintain these processes and regulate what's coming in and out of the plasma membrane. And so it's actually a lot more useful to be small than being a large cell. And so some information to know is that diffusion is the process of, well, diffusion is the, the, the process of materials moving from a concentration of high to a concentration of low. A concentration of high to a concentration of low. And so they're moving down the concentration gradient. They are going with the flow, flow of the river. If the river is moving this way, so is the concentration. It does not require energy. And so what we're gonna see is that we have a sugar particle. It's gonna get dissolved into water and all these particles are gonna start randomly moving around as particles do until they evenly distribute across the whole solution. Diffusion can happen directly across the membrane, like right here. And these rates of diffusion depend on the different molecules that we're talking about. It also depends on the structure of the molecules. And so big things like glucose, hydrophobic things will have a hard time getting, hydrophilic things will have a hard time getting through this membrane. And what we've talked about in the in the membrane transport lecture about how do these large materials get into the cell. Osmosis is just diffusion with water. That's all you really need to know. Diffusion with water. And so what we see in this image below is the, uh, the osmosis or the diffusion of water across a semi-permeable membrane. And so we see that there is a high concentration of, let's say, um, sugar. And here we have a low concentration of sugar. And the water is about equal. And so what's actually going to happen is that the water is going to move into this direction, into this direction right here, in order to make it an equal concentration of sugar to water. Because right now, if we were to take, let's say, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six um, six water molecules and, ugh, never mind.